Hi, in this video I will show you how to use Docker Compose to run a Django and PostgreSQL app. The first thing you need to do is to install Docker. If you haven't done this already, you can pause the video and come back when you're ready. Next step now is to create a new folder where everything is going to be placed. So mk there, Django Docker test. Now you can go into that, cd Django Docker test. First I want to create a requirements.txt file. Require Mant.txt and then in here I want to specify which Django version to use. So Django larger than or equals to 3.2. So this will make sure that we get the newer or same version as 3.2. And then psycho pg2 binary equals 2.8 or larger than or equal 2.8. And this is a library for PostgreSQL and Django. So now we can save and quit because these are the only things that need to be installed. Next, we want to create a new file called Docker file, vi Docker file. Feel free to use an editor or whatever you want. I just like to use the terminal for this. Then hit enter. So this is just Docker file with no extensions. First, I want to say from Python colon three. Let's make sure that we start with the Python 3 parent image. And then env python unbuffered equals 1. And this makes sure that uh, all the uh, output, for example, from the web server would be outputted to the terminal so we can see that there. And then we set something called work there. That's just slash code. This is where all of the code will be put inside the Docker image. Then we can copy the requirements, oops, requirements.txt file into that folder. Code, oops, small letters like that. And then we can install the package as we set in the requirements file. And then we say run pip install dash r require mants.txt and then when that's done we want to copy all of the code from the current folder on the computer where we run this into the uh, into the docker image so copy dot slash code slash and that's everything we need in this file for now so i can just close this file and then there's one more file we need to create which is vi docker compose dot a YML and here we're going to specify which services the docker image is going to use we have one service called web which will be the web server and we have one service called DB which will be the PostgreSQL database first we just want to specify which version we are using version colon 3.9 and then we start specifying the services services oops and the first one, db. And then we say image postgres volumes. This is where the uh, database will be mounted inside the Docker image. So volumes colon. And then on the next line, we say dash dot slash data slash db colon slash var lib slash postgresql slash data and then on the same line as volumes or same indentation we say environment colon dash postgres underscore db this will be the database name equals postgres and then we want to specify the user, Postgres user equals, I just like to use Postgres here because this is just a test environment, but you can choose a more uh, stronger user and password and similar. Postgres password, password equals Postgres. So now we have the name of the database, the user and the password. 
and that's everything you need for the service. Next we're going to set up the web server. So web colon build the same folder you are in, which will be the, where we have the manage.py and where the apps are located and similar. And then we tell which command you're going to use. Python manage.py, oops, run server, and then we specify an IP address, which will be this, which is the local host for the image, and then 8000, which is the port. Oops, 8000, not 80,000. And then volumes, where Django can get the code, dash, and then space, dot, colon slash code which is the folder we created in the docker file script and then we need to specify which ports to use 8000 8000 so this will forward port 8000 from your computer into the docker image and it depends on colon then the next line we just say db can save this and this depends on DB is this service so in order for this to work you have to use this as well before I close it I see that I have a typo here it's supposed to be volumes not voluminous so then we can save and quit this file so now everything for the setup of this docker image should be ready Great, so now that the configuration is finished we can create a new Django project and we do that by running docker Compose, run web, which is the web server we just created, or the web service, Django-admin, you probably know this, start project Django docker test, and then dot, which is the folder we are in, so don't create a new separate folder for this, and then hit enter. And now it will probably start to download PostgreSQL and the Python parent image to your computer, as you can see here. Great, and then when that is done, you see here that it's copying the requirements.txt and then installing Django, PsychoPG2 and a few dependencies that Django has. And when that's ready, it's going forward and build the image so everything is ready. And now when this command is ready, we can run ls to see that we now have the manage.py and also a Django docker test folder with the settings.py and similar. And if I Try to edit the Django Docker test settings file. You can search for data because you need to configure this to use PostgreSQL instead of SQLite. So change SQLite 3 with PostgreSQL. And then we need to set the name of the database, which I set to Postgres. And then the user, Postgres. And then I also use the password. Postgres and then the host which is just DB which is the name of the service because the docker will find this for us and then the port which is 5432 which is default for PostgreSQL in this environment now we can save and quit this before I continue I just want to say thanks to my patreons if you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. And now we want to initialize the database. Docker compose, docker dash compose, run web, python, manage.py, make migrations. And now it will try to start the image and see that everything is ready. And we got the no changes detected because there are no changes. But then we can run migrate to initialize the database. And now you see that it's applying this, starting or creating the tables in the database. And then we can run docker compose up to start everything. So now it's starting, and I start a PostgreSQL, I think it is this, and then the environment or the server. So if I now copy this address, go to Chrome. Then you will see that I get a 
disallowed host. So I need to add this address to the settings file. So I just go back to the terminal, open up a new tab, then say cd django docker test and vi django docker test settings.py and then in allowed host just paste this address save and then you see here that it's restarted refresh and now you see the django welcome screen so now everything here is working and we have a django slash postgresql image for docker we can use for testing and then to stop the server you can just close this and say docker compose down so then the server will stop if I now try to refresh, it just says that it doesn't exist anymore. And see here that the database system is shut down and similar. And that was it for this video. Hope you liked it and it was easy to follow along. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you liked it, please hit like below and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video.